Hello comrades and friends! Here is another episode of Grixis Grind. Now, I haven't really chosen which of the following matches I'm going to actually put into the video, because I lost every single one of them. Which is pretty hard, but we've gone from gold 2 right back down to gold 4. In two hours, we didn't win one uh, best of three. We won matches? Like, we won sorry, we won rounds in those matches, but we didn't win one game. It's pretty heartbreaking, uh, I'm a bit salty over it. We had a lot of games where we had some very strange mana situations. We'd go from being stuck on three land, which happened in two games, uh, and then we just got swamped in other games. I tried out Castle Lockthwain as well, and I'm finding that it's it's not bad. I think I'm happy just having it as a one-off though, because in the game where it was actually used, it did get us through a bit of our library, um, but at the end of the day, I don't quite know if it's better than Castle Vantress, but I guess we shall see throughout more playtesting. Anyway, I hope you have better luck in your games than I had in mine, and I'll see you soon. This is a good hand. I would have liked that Fires of Invention to be something else though. So blue green could be Oko, Simic Flash, or it could be the five color Golo step. I suppose we'll find out. Looks to be Simic Flash right now. So, we do want to get stuff out of the hand. And this leaves open the Bedevil. Although we might want to play on their turn. Well, that gives them more reason to count a spell on their turn. So it allows to go fires into asset. Hopefully. So they have a counter spell in hand or something like that. They just didn't want to play it. Want to buys. See if they counter. A lot of people underestimate how good it is versus Simic Flag. You know, a lot of Simic Flag players just not counter it. Mitch is a mistake. So if we play it, we are pretty vulnerable to quench. Or we could play Nasa and be Punch Fruit, which I think is the better play. This forces them to have something better than Punch. Do you believe they might have it then? Ambusher is mean. I 
not prepared for this. Okay, well, we'll have a bunch of great files if we do this. But I really hope they don't have anything other than Quench. If they have an actual counter spell, then this is bad. Um, might need to play my favorite bushes as a blocker then. I have another stop, so that might be a Brainborn Cutthroat or a Parisian Darla. Or it could just be another counter stop. Oh, don't do that one. Yikes. Um, we take 6 damage. Unless they flash it, lose the night pack ambush of rock. All right, come on, you gotta, you gotta get something good here. Yeah, we're just playing a punch. If they have a counter spell, then this is over. Yeah. Yeah, they just through too many counter spells for us to deal with. So we want Tress, we want Legion's End, we want Noxious for us. Uh, it deals with Ambushell. So maybe, probably want more ETG. Alright. Probably get away with one Jurass rather than two. Like they have lots of uh, non creatures, but like pulling a Jurass later on in the game is pretty heartbreaking. Probably will be putting in either um, uh, the one mana counter spell uh, or Veil of Summer. <laughs> one mana counter blue spells. It's probably better for them to have that over Veil of Summer. That looks like they have it. Either that or a Spectral Sailor. Even so, we need to play into it. And next turn we can have the Devil up, but we'll probably just throw a race again. It is really good because of this. Alright. I think the devil, I think we should save it for a nightcap ambition. So once we get to turn 4. deal with them either guys. Because that can mess up our fires. Apparently uh, for reason borrow it does the same, but it's not nearly as bad. Okay, Oh, uh, did they draw a counter spell? That was a really good draw from them. Wow. Absolutely phenomenal. A 
that's gonna be Brazen Barwa. You want removal? Can we afford a lock queen? We're gonna be taking a lot of damage. I don't think so. So I might just grab a Bantress and then hope we draw another blue land. So we can actually activate it. Oh, they got another one. Okay. Oh, well, it's still free. That'll take damage for it. They play that. But we need the murderous rider to gain life. The incremental life. Best hope for survival. So we can ETG. Do we want double ETG? Yeah, maybe. I want an ETG, I want to set up a Chandra. I think playing with Chandra in minus one would be the best thing to do though. Okay. Noxious Grasp is really tempting, but most of their problem cards are blue, because Brian Bolton Cutthroat is blue, Spectral Sailor is blue, it gets rid of Nightpack Ambisher, and gets rid of a Thrilled Mystic once it's already hit the board, and it gets rid of a Wildborn Preserver. It's hard. I go down to one then? And then chuck in the other giraffes, because we're going second now. 
And we can probably go and run maybe one less fires. So then we can grab one with Faye. Three fires is still good. You just need to make sure that they don't play solitaire and win. Well, Thought Rage is nice. Okay. So that's a Sailor, I think. See that, or they have a Veiled Summer or Mystical Dispute in hand. Forces them out there. Yep. I'm scrying to the bottom is. I I guess it's better. Clench. I saw two. Wow. That is pretty scary. So we need to save the murder so either for the membership. Saves us two life effectively. Sit before that thing gets too out of hand. You have to pay the gut for a bolus. You might have to play Fate of Wishes and Murderous Rider as a blocker. A jump block because they'll be able to be bigger than the combined power. Uh, maybe a mountain in case you get a shamra. This one is more important. Because this means that if they play the brine one. We can block it with that. We pretty desperately need to draw one of our Legion's End or a Ritual of Sit.
So if we block the Brian Vaughan, the 3 2, we go to 3 and we die to Thorough. If we block the 6, we go to 5 and we die to Thorough. Lovely. We do need to block the bigger one though. Very good at 6. We still die to Thorough. We want that, and we want that. Please, no counter spell. Alright, let's go. Probably drop the second fives. Sounds mm. good. Alright, this is okay. And they have a uh, seven percent chance, eleven percent chance, I okay. think. Uh, it's somewhere between 7 and 11. Goodbye, Nasa. You got us the photo ratio. That was very silly of them. You are a mighty warrior. I can see. That we double top, but fires into ETG is pretty important. I invite you to change your ways. to start killing their geese. They're just going to keep on generating food. Alright, 
apparently ages of a good crisis or a good mass manipulation. And they still need three more blue. I guess two more blue and food. One more blue and a food. We do need to play the NASA, depending on if they block or not, then uh, we'll change whether we uh, minus her. Because if they don't block, uh, then we will not minus her, so then they have to bust Coco to. Well, yeah, they have to uh, spend more resources to kill her. So if they block with their goose, um, then we enter the God Eternals, their crisis. They leave their crisis up, or their goose up, then we play Nasa and, uh... Okay, it right. So hostile to the truth. So they have to echo the crisis. Or echo their goose. They probably want to echo the crisis. create the food then they misplay. Okay. There's also a misplay. Because now Goose can't make the food tokens. And I can kill that over now. I have reached my Stuff there. So hopefully it goes through. Okay, cool. Uh, so we want Thought Erasure to get rid of that. And you can swing that over. Oh, look. I see you don't share my vision. I sure do not. And they still need two more blue to be able to mass manipulate. Do 
then they'll block, and then we can... What can we do? We can play ballers. We can pop two to three of them. So then it doesn't die to Crisis plus Elk. Like, it's still pretty worth for us to be killing their land. They need one more blue though to activate the... Oh shit, they got it. Okay. They are in big danger zone. Because they can tap the blue. Untap with Nessa. Tap again. First thing that they don't attack with the, with the bar. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Let's get to block out of them. They're still really vulnerable to them drawing a blue land. Because if they do, then pretty much lost. That's unfortunate. We can still gain life from this though. All is not lost. It's just very painful. I invite you to change your ways. That is unfortunate. Alright, so, okay, we need to get the health spell. We need to get the, the uh, Luton's End, and Duress, and Noxious Grasp, and Elf spell. Alright, 
Alright, we don't want... ...and to pick up Eternals as much. Like, it's good, but we could do better. Charmander doesn't deal with the, uh, elementals as well, so we can probably dump one. Except for an Ouya. Ah, uh, but that was too useful to get rid of. Maybe one Fae can, can go. Plant Fires can go. One Nasa. And. Polis. They were cutting down on our wind cuts pretty significantly. But we. Our, our plan is to stop them from getting their stuff. If we can shut it down, then they're essentially left with not a lot. Hmm. I will keep it. Try and scribe something better. Elder spell is nice. Well, what did I got? Another temple. Then to the bottom of the side. And we're not going to crack that Fable Passage, because we do want to draw more land. And even though we have something like a 64-ish percent chance to draw land, we don't want to, uh, to bury. Well, that, that's good enough. Right on schedule. Makes sense. This might be a bad idea. We don't get the land. That is very unfortunate. They play like an Oko will bust it with that. Here we go. Oh, but not just for us. And when we have some respite, I'm gonna go double fires, so then we're to fairy proof. Untitled boost here. Get the double three token. Revel with your king, wild. And sovereign and free. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Okay. We will Elder Spell. Yeah, we don't have a bunch of
Holy Jesus. It is going to be some big crisis. Now that they know I have a Kaya's Wrath in hand, will they want to be putting counters on their land? I guess we'll see. If they do put counters on the land, I think it's a mistake. I think we've got That's the right. I shouldn't target anything. Behold, nature's true power. Well, we make the multiverse need my perish. That's pretty tragic. They can play the untitled priest game. I'll play another game. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel. It's not for you. Trust me. Oh shit. I train and meditate and prepare. Well, it's got us either way. I think. Let's bring it over there. Because it stops them from uh, getting the swap you are fouler than a fiend. Because he could have swapped seed the food for the swamp and then lost Nisser and hurt us very dearly. Still dead. Nothing changed. Rise, my That's the big sad. Oh wow! Did I go for lethal? Oh my god! Why wouldn't they go for lethal? What? They have it. Why, oh, why?
Yikes. But we had no reason to. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Three steam vents. That's nice, bro. Helps us uh, see what they're playing. And if they have a thought erasure as well. Oh, it's civic of some kind. Judging by that, it might be Flash. Judging by that pass as well. Hopefully we draw a black line. 
so you can dress that on summon out. And we can leech it then. Upwards. So we can either Legion's End and then Death Force to unsummon. Ritual of Soot, and then I think Ritual of Soot's probably the best play here. Because it makes them either want to unsummon to save one, or Brazen Barrier to get rid of their fires. Okay, okay. so they Brazen to get rid of their fires. They didn't throw what they wanted. I guess Simic Flash. What do we want? Agent's End. Early Dress. And. I guess that's it. Night Down. One Fires. Nasa and maybe a ritual so we have it in sideboard. So what do we have? Let's have a look. Come on, hand. Give me a good hand. Oh, now if that's not bad. We'll need to play the Vantress next turn because it'll be tapped. And they're never gonna play anything in our turn anyway. Harry and they're done anyway. Try and play the Nasa. Really want to play that Fires. Mind and body. Oh, that's a bit less comforting. That is a good one. So next turn, I think we're going to shock in Blood Crypt. Thanks for the Thought Brazier. And then, depending on what they have in hand, or what they counter, we can get. Okay, we're Ah! Wow. They really, really do not care that much for. Anything other than fires. I'll try and get this out. Get out another counter spell. They get a land. 
have Mystic up. the gust stops out Shondra. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, we'll see if they hear the gust. Spells and the like to stop us from what we wanted to do. Do you want to change anything? Like, not just for us, is good, but it's a bit of a sideboard card, to be honest, to get with Faye. So that green tells me that they have a veil of summer in hand. Which does not very well. See that, or they have a um, once upon a time. But no, it's a uh, veil of summer, definitely. Again with a really strange land situation. Hell it coming up, it's so obvious. to give them the extra draw. So I guess we just pass. That is very strange though. Flash in a creature and one. That is a lot of mana screws and the like this game, or well, this, this session. It's pretty tragic. Well, I guess we're ending the 
the video on a pretty sad note. We have had some very, very strange mana games. Twenty six land. We had so many games on free land. Well, that's a bit of a bad way to end the video, but thanks very much for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.